Welcome back guys to another Boom Beach video. It is that time of the week where we have to re-plug in our creator code. So let's hear the code Cosmic Gang in the comments. There we go. We are now supporting ourselves. But today I'm going to be hitting War Factory with a Z. Now this is going to be kind of a bit uh, pre-recorded here. So don't worry if this kind of seems uh, randomly placed into the cycle of evil but scouting it out, um, it, it's just screaming AZ, as you guys can tell. Just a couple grapplers, and once we do kind of position our Zookas by the uh, headquarters there, we only really have to throw two shock bombs or uh, into a two different areas. So let's hop into it. Um, hoping I can hit it in one attack, but due to the shield generators, I'm not sure if uh, that's realistic. So hopefully uh, one or two attacks there. But we're going to throw a barrage on to all those mines right there because that's where we're gonna walk our zookas and we don't want them uh, dying into all them mines um, so now time to land our zookas we're gonna throw a flare and then we're gonna drop them boat by boat now the grappler might be in range or a couple of grapplers might be in range wow did I spread out those boats that's terrible my clicks are not on point right now but it looks like none of our zookas have been taken now uh, the grappler does see them we're gonna throw a flare get them smoked over there and then we will drop our hero. Looks like they'll be able to perfectly avoid those mines. And then once they get there, throw a flare where we will position our Zookas while half them peek out of that smoke. A little bit sad, but uh, I think we'll have enough firepower. Throw our final two smoke right there. Uh, Brick almost just got annihilated by that. And now, uh, time to throw a flare onto the HQ. We're going to drop a box of critters, throw a couple shock bombs out, and pop battle orders i threw those extremely early uh kind of sad there and the shock launcher was in range to hit the first part of the zookas unfortunate and now we're gonna have to reinforce the shock my oh my that med kit came in clutch we should be able to clear up the shields um, if not, there'll be like one HP. There goes Brick, and boom. Now it's just straight uh, HQ right now. The rocket launcher is back up. We'll shock it again, and we have a few Zookas still hidden on it. So it looks like we will need two attacks, but uh, we, we took out a good amount of this, so... I don't want to get too ahead of myself in case I bomb a couple of attacks here, but uh, pretty easy war factory, I gotta say. Looks like we got them upgrade uh, proto tokens since we still do have the Rainmakers at the moment. And uh, we'll go train up 104 of our Zookas and we will repeat, hopefully, with the same success level. So we'll throw that flare, we'll throw our Zookas down, hopefully, in a better. Uh, closer manner there but my my zooka landings today are a little bit rough I gotta say and there we go all them are deployed grapplers gonna take one we'll throw a flare getting them right in front of that sniper tower and then we will drop our hero let her catch up uh, might have dropped her a little bit late no big deal and then we're gonna try and get that flare a little farther back so the shock launcher and the flamethrower are not in range of our zookas even though we probably only need one big blast of the zookas to defeat this war factory and then we'll move on to some uh, regular player based attacks i think i'm gonna switch up the strategy to what i've been using um, for my current map clearing but we gotta pop that battle orders and boom there goes war factory I don't even want to count that as two attacks it was a simple finish so I'm gonna count it as one and a half if you want to get technical with me fight me in the comments no I'm just kidding but uh, here we go um, getting all that loot I'm gonna get so many proto tokens 730 does that give me enough for the Rainmaker upgrade I'm not sure um, how do I check that out? Do I have to go to the armory? Uh, I reloaded the Zookas even though I am uh, switching them up here. So uh, I am so close to getting that Rainmaker upgrade. It looks like I'm going to have to do some Cycle Evil tomorrow. But we're going to load up our... I almost saved it. Um, that would have been bad. But uh, we're just going to load up our troops. And then we will uh, clear our map somewhat here. So hopping into the attacks... Um, so I've been using this strategy and then like 
uh, a tank bombardier with bullet strategy and crinears. I kind of want to get used to this one. Um, Christian's higher metal count than me, and he recommends this, so I'm going to be practicing as I am somewhat pushing in metals. I've been clearing my map uh, a lot recently compared to what's like a month ago. Um, I wasn't really clear my map. I, I was just casually playing Boom Beach, but then I was like, you know, let's challenge myself. So here we are, uh, almost up to 900 uh, victory points, but uh, we'll, we'll get there in a couple days of uh, map clearing. And one thing for this one, I'm going to have to keep that microwave shocked. I know it was still shocked, but also that uh, shock launcher was kind of kind of harassing me there so got to keep the bombardiers safe and uh losing a couple of heavies might as well just pop it this was a pretty easy base uh i gotta say because it didn't really have any ice statues and it wasn't too painful of a design now yesterday uh, there was this base where um he had everything like compiled together a couple shock blasters and a damage amplifier and i swear half the defenses were in that damage amplifier he had ice statues and at first I thought it was just a hammerman base, uh, defending a hammerman base that, um, you know, I was like, oh, he must have forgot to switch back or something. And then I started attacking it, tried it with the warriors. Uh, warriors said no, he had the HQ health boosted and I didn't have enough energy. I was trying to hit it unboosted, so um, I just attacked it a bunch. Failed so many times with like three different strategies. Eventually, I had one of the worst smoky heavy Zooka attacks in my life. Somehow, I got it though. I thought the other attacks were like pretty good, but his base was just too good. And then I come in with like one of the most embarrassing heavy Zooka attacks you could like possibly see. They're peeking the whole way because um, I, I, I was using smoky heavy Zooka, but I, I got it. And I was happy. I was on, I was on Discord with Christian, and he was trying to give me some advice there. But none of his advice really helped me. And then I had to take matters into my own hands once again, and it worked out. So for this one, it looks like he's got some uh, ice statues there, if you guys can't see. He's got four of them, two masterpieces, two guardians on the building health. So uh, going to be a little bit of a tanky base, but... Um, I still have a boost going from our operation hit I did earlier, so uh, the attack's going to be a little bit easier. I try and do it unboosted. I know I have a thousand power powder, so uh, I, I can't afford to spend it, but, you know, something about hitting a base unboosted, like a good base and defeating unboosted, it kind of like it makes you feel good at the game, and that's something I like to feel. Uh, that might sound a little bit weird, but it's true. And we're just going to keep popping Revive here, or Second Wind. I've, I've had people I've had people get mad at me for calling it Revive, because they're like, no, it's Second Wind. But I'm like, it revives the troops, come on. I call it Revive. Second Wind, it doesn't sound as cool, to be honest. But there we go. Uh, kind of getting to it. We have a lot of heavies left, not a lot of base to get through. And uh, we're going to have a good ending to the attack here. The tanks do a good job uh, standing just in front of the bombardier so they can kind of tank the mines, they can tank the rocket launchers, and my bombers are all nice and healthy. So a little bit of health on the HQ we do have to worry about. Uh, add some artillery and our bombers will be able to finish it off here. So boom, there goes that base. Four ice statues couldn't stop me. Uh, and I only lost 18 heavies, so not bad. Now that might be all my heavies, but I had some revived ones, so it doesn't matter. And one thing I've noticed is my gold has been pretty low ever since I converted all of it. So I'm going to take the gold on that daily supply chest. And this one, I am going to do sneaky bombers. Because I don't really want to take this base head on now. I'm going to throw a box of critters over here. And honestly, with smoky bombers, I should... Or sneaky bombers, however you want to call them. Uh, you should bring bullet, but since I already hit attack without without really thinking about it, I'm going to throw a heavy too. So we're only going to use four boats. If it's a fail, I'm going to look kind of foolish here, but uh, we got to get our troops moving as those smokes were thrown very early. So we are just going to, we're going to get them moving. We don't want them getting hit by the rocket launcher. And now we got a good path going. And then after this flare, I am going to flare them above those rocket launchers there at least somewhat uh, get that flare down throw our smokes and ooh, some some peaks kind of there but 
nothing too bad. Kavan doing a great job healing him back up. And uh, as we do kind of sit there with 27 energy, not too much. Ooh, the rocket launcher be somewhat hit my bombers. I'm going to throw a shock onto both the sniper tower machine gun and the rocket launchers. We need to get our heavies out in front. And uh, there they go. So this should be a free hit for now. Um, and we only used four boats of troops. So pretty good attack. Uh, bombers do a lot of damage to the HQ. So... Um, if you're trying to defend and you kind of have your HQ open like that, you know, you might get smoky bombered or you might get sneaky bombered. Honestly, he took out a few of my bombardiers. That could have turned out way worse than it actually did. But A-001, I will take your free loot. You can take a couple of my bombers if you want. And uh, let's hop into one more attack here. Sir smokes a lot. I only smoke when I... Uh, when I use warriors and heavy zooka and smoke I I was using all zooka earlier so I guess I use a lot of smokes um, but here we go into this one throwing down our troops so we're gonna go kind of a diagonal path and toward that HQ and then I'm gonna throw a shock bomb onto that beach right there because I don't want I don't want our heavies walking into a microwaver and uh, thinking thinking they can tank it in all all fullness even though I kind of let the micro ever get a couple pulses off onto them uh, nothing too damaging and then we got a shock onto the microwave and the shock launcher 101 energy uh, I'm gonna save it for now and I'm gonna throw actually as I say that I throw a couple boxes of critters uh, just so um, our troops can uh, breathe a little bit you know defense is just constantly hitting on them uh, we don't have any medics we have dr kavan kind of healing them we do have the second wind we do pop but just taking some of that smoke and putting it elsewhere from the defenses help out our troops quite a bit and our bombers are getting a little bit distracted you know uh, i kind of want to do a flare all of our heavies are dead so that's going to be another second wind and there goes dr kavan this guy has a boosted ice base so it could get bad from here with our bombardiers taking the early exit uh, we just need to take out those rocket launchers and that shock blaster and i think we will find a spot where we can put our troops but uh you know since kavan died since uh our, our all of our heavies died um, it has me sweating a bit here, and we are going to have enough GBE for another shock bomb. Going to come in clutch, shock essentially the rest of the uh, buildings that would uh, kind of kind of destroy me here. And if our bombardiers can take out that shock blaster, I will be happy, but it looks like the shock blaster is going to get the last laugh here. My oh my, looks like we lost a battle unfortunately. Kind of sad, but that's okay. It's not a Jimmy video without a fail at some point. So, Sir Smokes a lot. You were able to... You, you distracted me with the name because I was like, I don't. But it turns out I do. But that's going to be it for me today. If you guys did enjoy this War Factory and somewhat of a map clear video, make sure you guys do drop a like. Again, code Cosmic Gang. Let's hear you in the comments. Much appreciated if you guys do use our code. Um, but we'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.